Iso is the most useless agent in Valorant. But, well, when you use him like this. Hey, you wanna see something cool? Rare Adam are one of the first teams to bust out Riot's newest agent in the professional scene, and they slot him in at the biggest event of these players' lives, the VCT 2023 China Ascension Grand Finals. You heard me, their hopes and dreams of making it into franchising are riding on the back of this fan-favorite duelist. But if there's so much on the line, don't you think they'd want to use him properly? This is the worst! As a matter of fact, Iso was so poorly used in this game that he might as well have been playing for the enemy team. So in this video, you're going to learn the secrets to unlocking this agent's potential and avoid making yourself look like a dunce. Ah, sweet! We finally get to see Iso in action. What the? Where's where's the damage? No rays, no Sova. <sighs> The best part about Iso's kit is his undercut. It's basically a breach stun, but instead amplifies any damage dealt to any enemies in these lanes. Yeah, his contingency is nice for getting out of chokes or isolating duels, and his double tap reminds you a lot of your favorite aim lab drill. But they don't have nearly the same impact as this vulnerable generating nightmare. Now, let's take a look at Rare Adam's comp. What abilities are they going to pair alongside said undercut? Maybe Brim's Orbital Strike? Yeah, that could be cool. Every eight orbs. But why not run Sova, who has shock darts or a big laser? I mean, at least run Raze. She has a grenade. C4. A heat-seeking boombot that explodes. A rocket launcher. These things do a lot of damage, so why not amplify it all for guaranteed kills? Oh, wait, let me do some research. Uh, maybe Stu's an Instalock Jet one trick. What the? He plays more Raze than Jet. Just, why? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get worked up, but ISO is an agent that you build a game plan around, and this just isn't it. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Their pistol begins in a 3-2 where Jet, Brim, and Sky are all dry swinging along with two ghosts and a sheriff, while Viper and ISO are tasked with contesting short behind her poison orb and ISO with an undercut for shower. But is that enough to hold this space? DRG's round starts in a 1-1-3 prioritizing this ISO's territory. And after Fukashu's cam spots the three stooges peeking long, the offense suddenly has have a burst of confidence to push through this viper's wall. Luke holds for a second, expecting a jump spot, a jiggle peek, or something from the defense. I instead, Iso is afraid of his own shadow and concedes this space. Uh, hold on, that's that's not right. Okay, let's try that again. But Iso is smarter than the average bear and knows that the offense just saw 3B. Odds are they're booking a back to A. So this backpedaling is just Viva bracing for impact. His backup plan after losing showers must be to contest this choke point with Jet, who's now rotating over to heaven with a sheriff. But by the time she gets here, the attackers have already contacted all the way up showers. Okay, well, when Iso was powering up, Jet swung showers and lost her duel. Now to avenge his fallen comrade, Iso quickly darts into lamps. Yeah, on its own, Iso's undercut is pretty bad. Uh, mediocre at best. If there's nothing following it up, all you're doing is dry swinging into the enemy's crosshair. It's not a stun, it's not a flash, it's a vulnerable. The purpose is to boost the damage of everything else. But Teet, you're so stupid. If Iso hits him with his undercut, I only have to shoot them in the body like twice. Yeah, well, Jimmy, down in Winnie Hut Jr. Elo, that might work. But at this level of Valorant, body shots are a lot less common. You didn't have to be so mean. Ah, he'll get over it. But as you just saw, Isol's Vuln needs to be paired with another ability in order for it to be effective, otherwise you're just announcing to the enemy that you're about to swing, and they'll prepare the crosshairs. This thing is a combo tool, so DRG eventually get the spike down and close out the pistol. Now, if you think I was wrong about Iso, then you need to see this next round. Rare Adam has each member slotted in a prime position. Viper's ready to stall in showers with her snake bite. Brimstone can slow down any hookah pushes with his molly. Sky is going to constantly gather information on long to make sure there's an extra rotate to anchor down sight. And Iso is soloing short with his undercut, which should clog up this lane, making it dangerous to push through, right? The offense start in a 1-1-3 default where Cypher spots Sky long with his cam, but these three contact up showers again, challenging any potential defensive utility with their guns. But as they get ready to peek the entrance, Sky launches her bird from Deep. With the defense's strongest side anchor eliminated, and Cypher planting two defenders on B by eating these flashes, DRG know that there's only two max here. This is their time to go. But not if ISO has anything to say about it. 
好吗？金枪贤出平之后走 A 小，没法的位置爆了，稳泰玻璃丢给 A 小，正面对枪在对面救星。I feel like I've seen this episode before. Uh, like I said, when you use ISO's undercut, you kind of need something to set him up. Otherwise, the enemy is just going to line up their crosshair expecting the swing. Like here, let me draw up a better game plan. Let's imagine for a moment this exact same situation, but instead you had a raise instead of jet. Viper goes down in showers and raise is forced to back off, but then ISO's like raise, nade short now, and then they combo the utility. Then the enemy Viper is like ah. Ah, this combo was too OP. Ah, help me. Uh, then Rare Adam would be in a much better spot. But instead, Jet's sitting back sight, uh, waiting for her dash to expire. But all hope isn't lost. This is Stu we're talking about. He's cuckoo with a guardian. All right, all right. That's enough railing on ISO's undercut. It's round four, and after getting rolled over on their previous eco, surely now where Adam have some form of trap play, especially with Brim's orbital strike online, he's playing in heaven. Jeez, Rick, oh my god. Okay, well, the defense are playing in a 2-3, where Sky is going to set their op up on long, while Viper holds short, and Isa holds showers with his undercut that won't do anything. This is... this is like watching a child trying to mash the square block into a circle. It, it just doesn't fit. Well, whatever. The offense have flipped their default, and now plan on scaling up long and splitting B. Now, I think they have the read that Ray Adam have bust out the op, because Dingwei starts the round by lining up a poison up for long, so his team can safely scale up to the operator. <laughs> Sky's gone down, Jet went to go get cigarettes, but I think Rare Adam had to react faster. Before this orb bloomed, Yeoman flashed outside of Hookah for info and tagged somebody. And because they have an op, Stu needs to make a decision. Either hold on to Long by fighting through the smoke and dashing away, or fall back to sight and wait for a rotate, since you're the weaker side. This indecisiveness has cost Rare Adam this entire half of the map, and DRG's Brussels Sprouts confirmed this. But hold on a minute, it's only a 4 versus 5, and this is still winning especially with ISO one off of his ultimate. Martin teleports to try and retake through Hookah, and Viva follows suit shortly after. Oh. Alright, well, we didn't even use any ISO utility this time. Literally, nothing. And without a replay system, I don't really know if these guys got caught by a cabbage, but when Viva teleported, why didn't he use his riot shield? Doing so could provide safe passage out of the TP and force Raze to make a tough on-the-fly decision. Do you blast close expecting the offense to use the shield? In the middle, hoping they've repositioned? Those could both whiff as Iso and Viper could stay in the teleporter to play some sort of mind games. But by doing nothing, both players get blown to smithereens. Then these two had no choice but to save. Rare Adam take a timeout to regroup and figure things out. All right, guys, we're down early, but we're not out yet. Let's try to... Hey, ISO, uh, hello? Is that all this guy does? Out of the timeout, Vivo vulnerable to his own jet while trying to set her up on this line. But DRG decided to run it down B, where Rare Adam got plowed. But ISO did make it an even three on three before losing that advantage, and then ultimately the round. Well, wait a minute. Why aren't we giving our duelist the vandal? This dude literally needs to get a kill to use his signature. So why not make sure he's put in the best position possible to do so? Especially when his ult is online. That requires him to take a raw aim duel. Guys, I'm trying really hard not to lose my cool. So this round needs to be a good one. But but it's an eco, so that might be hard to... Wait a second, what are they doing? Finally, a good ISO play. Granted, it didn't catch anyone this time. It was set up nice with a pop flash out of the immediate smoke and an undercut dash to quickly follow suit. The only problem now is that the offense heard all of these people, so they're charging right for Brimstone. But as he's retreating, Yi Hao spams the loop to the smoke, knowing that the offense would react to the defense's aggression by immediately hitting B. He's put his team into a good spot going into the retake, which forces DRG to invest their Viper Spit to convert and avoid getting thrifted. What do Rare Item do now? Oh, oh God, ah, They Viper ulted! Whatever shall we do? Don't worry, citizens. This looks like a job for a mediocre at best duelist! Domain Expansion. Malevolent Shrine. 
了，正好回复没了，而且定位死了。决斗通牒的魅力，一决的魅力终于展现了出来。但是 Stu 已经是倒了，天际光束定位在点后，直接死。这个位置直接被锁掉，没办法，剩下一个狗卡鼠远在天边。他从<笑> I never thought I'd see the day. A good ISO play, and it all started before he activated his kill contract. ISO grabbed Brimstone's rifle before hopping into his ult, ripped Viper out of her pit, and took her down, opening the site for his team. And it didn't stop there. His undercut and Brim's orbital strike sliced site up so that no matter where the defense ran, they were getting fried by something. Rare Adam finally get on the board, and the tide starts to shift. The game is starting to turn around, no thanks to ISO, but it's here where we see Rare Adam finally make good use of the little combo potential they have. Now DRG have armed the race with the judge to abuse the close range angles and lamps, and their plan is to explode out of short behind her showstopper. But they start the round slow, with Sky pushing back ISO and shower, and Cypher spotting long before grouping up back short. But Rare Adam have smoked deep short, so the offense groups up inside and wait for it to expire. The showstopper couldn't find anyone, but it did manage to clear out all of sight. And normally when you're going AN bind, you want someone going through showers so you can pinch the site and have breathing room to plant. So in Rare Adam's mind, it felt like a pinch was coming, and Iso decided to fight short to avoid getting pinched. But because his sky decided to dog from long and clear out showers, dispelling the theoretical pinch, Viva felt safe to retreat. And now, DRG are in a pickle. They have short, but how are they going to plant when being suppressed from so many different angles? <laughs> Not only did DRG not have map control, but Rare Adam's Poison Orb was positioned on this exact spot to cover all possible safe plant positions. And when Viper runs out of fuel, Iso could use his undercut to delay the plant even longer. Now this is a good game plan. Wait, wait a second. This isn't their Poison Orb. Guys, Iso can work on this map, I promise, but he just requires your team to play around him. For a moment, let's pretend Rare Adam have a raise. Then this play would look something like this. Use this Viper Ball that cuts through Hookah, Long, and then Shower, then have Raze play in Shower so they can either trap this area with their Sky and Iso, who's Long, or have Iso in Showers with Raze, and Sky can dog through the Teleporter instead of full committing. And with this position, they can both deal endless amounts of damage to anyone trying to plant Truck. This plan seems solid to me, but instead, Rare Adam just won their aim duels, which isn't a consistent way to win rounds. Doc, who knows, maybe their game plan improves on attack. Now, I would continue with this breakdown, down. But we need to celebrate someone's special day today. Hey, Ryan, happy birthday to you. But happy today isn't my birthday, and it wasn't from this you. clip either. All right, Ryan, so I want to finish this breakdown since, you know, it's your big day. But I guess any chance to talk about China Valorant makes me feel like it's my birthday. So let's see what Rare Atom have cooked up on the double duelist attack side with their ISO. A plan starts for the pistol with a 2-3 default leaning towards A, with the bulk of the firepower for Rare Atom gunning it up showers, whilst the Brimstone and Viper are using their Lurk Smokes to safely scale up short. But DRG already have two of their own players on the A site fighting for showers, with the Sky over on B ready to support for the Teleporter, and the Cypher is backing her up, with the camera spotting the Long on B, and the trap wire at the entrance to Hookah. Fair to say, it's a pretty solid defensive setup here. 正义在遇事，而且有两个人抢眼，主动闪出来，两边交火。Luca正义拿下第一个，而且这个时候剑好就收。哎，啊，还是要示威一枪，然后丢一个。Wait, wait, 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 wait. How did nobody actually trade that for rare atom? DRG somehow managed to get out of that mess with the player advantage and only taking about 40 units of damage. But it's worth saying that rare atom's plan here wasn't bad by any means. In fact, a lot of teams will do this kind of default. And also with the ISO, he needs to really get those kills in order to activate his signature and really get going. But I do wish that there was something a bit more creative here than just three players peeking and hoping for the best. Especially in one of the
of the biggest games of Rare Atom's lives. Maybe you could use the ISO uppercut alongside a Jet Dash or a Sky Flash up long. You could do that into Hooker. You could do that into Lamps. You could just do it into Showers as well, which they didn't do here. But none of those things happened. Also, as an aside, there was another team in China that did play ISO called Tech, and they played it on Lotus, a player called Qi Ye. And it was the same sort of problem. There were a lot of great opportunities to use this utility to combine with the teammates, but it never really just came about. Like there's promise, but it's not actually resulting in anything. But anyway, DRG have the player advantage, all of the map control that they need, and now have a pretty good read on the offense for Rare Atom as the Cypher begins his rotate over and starts to lean towards A. After being locked out of both lanes, Rare Atom's new plan is to wait. And then wait, and wait a little bit more for all of these smokes to come out, and then re-hit A. The trades come out, but DRG still have the advantage. That lamp smoke fades, and Rare Atom actually get a couple more. The offense immediately decides to get out of there, but they're on low HP. Oh, never mind. Sky's just healed them. All good. Vokashu是一个名牌位置 with that little extra top up of healing, Rare Atom managed to close out the pistol. Skipping forward to round 16, Rare Atom are making a comeback despite their poor planning. They converted the anti eco and have also just clutched up their bonus to put themselves in the driver's seat. Man, ISO must be super overpowered, right? Okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. We are about to see some good ISO utility. Because DRG just lost versus the bonus, they are on a lower buy. Rare Atom elect to stick to long range engagements and hope that the defense run into them trying to make a hero play with their worst guns. However, both teams are at a standoff. Neither team is doing anything besides trading a few skybirds until the other tries to make the first move. Now, once the attackers feel like the defenders are not going to do anything weird, they start to group up towards A. Viper lobs her poison orb to deny information from lamps, and then they start contacting forward. <laughs> Now that's another wombo combo that we haven't really mentioned yet. Right before the execute, Sky deploys her cabbages, and ISO then used where they were going to line up the undercut, which makes this Viper a very easy target. But that is one of the best parts of combining ISO with any drone-like abilities, such as Sky's Trailblazer, Silver's Drone, and Fade's Prowlers, because they synergize so well with ISO's uppercut, but also stuff like Breach Fault Lines, Omen paranoia etc you pair these little bits of utility together and you really cannot miss this potent duo has opened up the a site for the offense but it isn't quite over reinforcements are on their way for drg and both teams have a little tug of war game over lamps rare atoms igl yeoman uses his trailblazer but this gets broken he flashes once twice and then Raze explodes over the top of truck. But ISO shoots her right out of the sky, armors up, and then puts down the brimstone. <laughs> And with all of those eliminations, Viva now has his ultimate online, which helps keep swinging things in the direction of Rare Atom. Looking at the round straight afterwards, Viva kicks it off by immediately pulling Nick into the Shadow Realm with his ultimate and winning that duel. And Rare Atom of course executed to wait, why is everybody still here? Get going! Oh, I wish Rare Atom just sent it after or even during that ultimate. After round 17, the ISO kind of goes a little bit quiet. So up steps Stu, who picks up an operator and goes to work. <laughs> Oh, 
But yeah, Stu has helped his team get a nice cushion here, and now it's time for the ISO to make a reappearance. This time, he's partnering up with Brimstone and his ultimate orb to strike, because there's going to be a nice fiery combo here with this 4-1 split. And specifically, this play is here to punish the way that DRG have been playing long on their defense. DRG's IGL Nick makes the first move by immediately flashing down long, but Rare Atom have seen this flash every round. So the offense counter by Cloud Burst in the ground, tucking inside and avoiding the flash, but now the defense still smoke, even though the bird didn't tag anyone. That's actually a good point. Could the defenders hear the Cloud Burst going down from over here? Take a few steps back to go. You ain't got the answers, up. man. You ain't yeah. got the answers. Kanye. I... Anywho, carrying on, Rare Atom continue to tiptoe forward and hop into the smoke. Oh, oh, you can't oh, can't you can't okay, now I'm starting to see where Tita's is coming from. If you play Sky on bind on defense, you play it for long. Just that flash down long is so useful, and if you don't get any information, you've got the TP that you can throw another flash or dog through. Effectively, you can get information for anywhere on the map on defense of Sky. And when you don't have the utility, you could just jump spot long to see what's going on. But to counter this whole idea, Rare Atom try putting Nick into another pickle. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! By pinging on your minimap and lining up your uppercut vulnerable like this, it flies through Garden, and of course, if you pair it with a Brimstone Ultimate, it'll force the Sky into making a tough decision. Die to the orbital strike, or just die to rare atom. So how did this guy not die here? Well, for one, ISO missed. I know it's a straightforward bit of utility, but was this something that was practiced? Is it like an aim trainer for ISO utility? But anyway, you want to make sure that you nail this combo and not whiffing it in a potential promotion series into the VCT system. Aw, oh, it makes me sad. Let me just have a hit of my China Copium. Now, Rare Atom might have lost their jet, but what they did gain was ISO's kill contract, which opens up a brand new option. There are maybe a couple of ultimates in the game that are perfect for clear clearing out Viper's Pit. ISOs is of course one of them. And in these Viper setups like we see here, the Viper's Pit side usually has less amount of people whilst the other side is heavier. But instead they decided to wander into Hookah. They lose another player, but ISO isn't letting this round slip away. Viva blasts a player through the smoke, drags Nick into his lair, gets him again, and all of a sudden the round is even. And Rare Atom gets safe passage onto the site as a result. <laughs> Oh, Viva almost had it. If you look closely, did he get distracted by his energy orb on the last duel? I mean, it is shiny. Oh, sorry, I'm like a magpie. Whilst it was super close in a down to the wire game, I really don't think Viva should have been in this position in the first place. And it's a real what if moment. What if this Brim ultimate hit and killed the sky? ISO could have grabbed a different player and then given his team the advantage off the back of it. And if you're an ISO player in rank, please make sure that your lineups hit. All right, Ryan, so what do you think of ISO so far? I mean, it's about as good as this cake. And whilst it's not my birthday, I can't pass up on cake. Ha! <laughs> you do the rest of the video, teats. I'm gonna get ready for VCT China. By the way, here's my card. Twitch.tv slash Ryan Central, the only English stream breaking down the Chinese scene. Huh, I guess I'll have to check it out. Why are they trying to run ISO if they're not going to play around him? Like, why? why? It doesn't make any sense. I I, don't, I hate Valorant. Why don't they hit the subscribe button? Why, why do I have so few subs? Why haven't I gotten a right gun buddy yet? It just doesn't... Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for that, Ryan. I really needed to let off some steam. All right, well, while I was gone, I found a cool use for ISO's contingency. Uh, after dropping a few rounds, Rare Adam got knocked onto an eco where they all bum rushed Hookah. But when exiting, used ISO shield to protect them as they jumped out of Hookah. And normally, flying out of this window is hard as you're defenseless as you fall down. But since you can't shoot through this wall, that's not a problem anymore. Combine that with smokes that cover your left, the Stingers were able to swarm site and take close range duels. And they almost won this round. But with those kills and death, Viva's been gifted one last ultimate to try and force overtime. <laughs> Zeno 
但现在就看这个一人一打没打过 ，Z 都反杀了，而点点没顶住了 ，Z 都出来的位置被锁定，但是防守方有个巨大的优势，川满军没有狙到，进攻方现在能够接到。This kill contract is the difference between him and his friends fulfilling their dream and making it into franchising. Now I wish we had a replay system so that I could see where Brim's Molly landed and stopped the offense. Because even though Viva lost the duel, his team still should have been able to get out. Brim and Jet got through semi okay, and it's this mistiming that allowed DRG to teleport, punish. Go up this round two to one, close it out, and make it into franchising themselves. And speaking of, remember when this team made it to franchising by basically only using Phoenix on every map? Yeah, it was nuts. Check it out here.